Welcome. Welcome to sunny Skegness. Let's not get run over. Okay. A seaside resort in the UK. A lot of people visit here to go on holiday. The beach isn't great. There's arcades everywhere. But it's fun. And we go everywhere. We go every year. Because it's tradition. Everyone loves a bit of Skegness. Arcades everywhere. Burgers, hot dogs, fish and chips. What's not to like, right? So uh, join me. Join me on a Skegness-like adventure. So the first place we're going to stop at is a bit of bingo. Deep at the back of the arcade is a little bingo. It's mostly, uh, mostly full of grannies. Grannies love the bingo. We're going to try to win some prizes. These are the prizes. That's got top line. You can get her the uh, 53 wins. Pick a number between See if we can do this. A red one in nine, 19. Yellow three and eight, 38. A white seven and three, 73. A white seven and two, 72. The white seven and six, 76. Blue four and seven, 47. It's showing off. Now. Yeah, the both are two, there's 22. Wait, wait, wait. Blue four and nine, 49. Unbelievable. The white six on two, 62. Player 60. Good top line. One win, well done. Why you mark white for your next game? Blue both are fours, 44. Blue five and two, 52. Yellow three and one, 31. Red on his own, number eight. Blue four and three, 43. Yellow both the twos, 22. Blue bingo. Player 61. <laughs> That's a good top line goal card. Two wins, well done. I'm gonna base pirate myself. <laughs> So, pretty cool, isn't it? So we're going to get some fish and chips now. Plastic British fish and chips. And where are we going to eat them? Wow. That one's a little bit more expensive because you pay for the uh, experience, I guess. We're going to go next door. This is where the seagulls come in. And nick your sausage if you're not careful. Here it is, look. Alright, let's go and have something to eat. Maybe a bit of fish, a bit of haddock. <laughs> oh, that's what £4.50 gets you these days. There's a hand. Right now, it's not too bad at all. Our local's about six. People need to see the town. See what Skegness has to offer. You get your bet bread. You have your be betting shop next to another betting shop. Double betting. Maybe you can bet in both places at once. Who knows? Look at that, look, Mad Harry's. Looks pretty mad. Squishy prime water bottle. Look at that. Wow. So, another thing people do here, penny pushers, but not pennies, two peas. Check it out. I got it, yeah. Or you just want a dinosaur. Yeah, but I You get your bucket of two peas, look. Try and win the prizes. And even some machines, they have, look at this. Mr. Beast chocolate bar. You know that's going to be melted when it comes out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a lot of the prizes tend to get stuck because they're massive. So you can call someone over if it hits the glass and they'll come and get it for you. Look at that, it's good isn't it? Ledio. Not, not bad, huh? Welcome to the town of Skegness. What goes on in the town? Wow, normally on the seafront we have the beach, some carnival rides, 
and the arcades. And let's not forget the fish and chips. The copious amounts of fish and chips. But what goes on in the town? Well, the town is a different story. The town is where the locals frequent, and it's going to be slightly different. If you live in Skegness, you're not going to be gambling all the time. Maybe you'll have a game of bingo now and then, but um, I've lived in Las Vegas for 10 years and I don't gamble. It's impossible. You can't live in a place and gamble at the same time. You will eventually be homeless. But uh, here's the town. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look at the town. Here we are. We're in town. Have a look at the town. Look at that. There it is, look. Little cafe. There's the shopping mall, look. Yeah, let's have a little look in here. I think it has about, uh, about 15 shops. Look at that, very British shopping mall. Not bad, is it? Oh no, I'm wrong. 25. It's all right, isn't it? And here's the town, look at this. Now Skegness Town. There's uh, even some arcades dotted around here. But the thing about Skegness is uh, when it's not the summer, it pretty much closes down. And I mean closes down completely. Um, you'll find the carnival is closed, some of the arcades are closed, and some of the attractions just for the tourists are also closed. So in the winter, it's very different. And that's not just Skegness, that's a lot of seaside places as well around the UK. But... Um, like most small towns in the UK. Uh, it's a bit weird because um, recently over the years a lot of small towns have gone into like a bit of a decline. Uh, I've seen it everywhere. You see vape shops, gambling shops, cash for gold, things like that. And then uh, the markets are closing. The, you know, the small local shops are closing, getting overrun by big Tesco's and supermarkets and things. It's just one of those things. Skegness is a little bit different because they have tourism, so people are bringing money into the town, but you still see elements of that, which I think is quite surprising. Um, but yeah, I could ramble on about that all day, but uh, let's have a look. Look at that, look, local butchers. See, butchers you don't really see too much anymore. They're being overrun by large supermarkets. People want their things in one place. So uh, if you see a butcher's, yeah, it's a bit of a treat. Here, look, here's a British delicacy, look, the scone. There's a bit of an argument about which one goes on first, the clotted cream or the jam, Depend depending where you live. But uh, yeah, look, all year round sale, but it's closed. But who knows, I don't know, maybe it's open in the summer. I don't know, it's all a mystery to me. Look, Oliver Twist. Look at that look. A seaside parrot. It's alright, isn't he? Well, that's the price of ice cream these days. Two, two fifty a scoop. Let's see what we have here. Look at that. Neon blue. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look at him. Oh, well, it's alright if your name's Logan. Or oh, Ronnie. Yeah, a big one if your name's Ronnie. Lucas. Wow. Oh. Powered by Prime. They really like the Prime things here. Hopping on a trend. CEX. Wow. <coughs> what do you think of Skegness Town? Yeah, really? Oh, that's good. <laughs> She said it's uh, beautiful. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at that. So we have more open arcades here. Uh, this is like 18s only. It's a hardcore gambling. Look at that. Yeah, uh, yesterday I saw some uh, homeless people sitting outside the arcade asking for money. And when they got some, they went in there and gambled it straight away. Unbelievable. <laughs> So this place, they used to have Euromix too, it's still there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't I don't know if it's open anymore, it's hard to say. Look, it looks a bit dirty, but if you look inside, look at that. So I think this is one of those ones that is open only in the summer. 
I, d I don't know. They must get so much revenue in the summer that um, when the winter hits around, um, it's enough profit to last all year. I don't know. It's a mystery, but I don't understand it. But uh, it works, right? So, yeah, souvenir shops. Look at that. Oh, look, snakes. You can buy a snake there. You can buy a huge python. Look at that. No, I don't know. But I like how the python is looking at the cooey <laughs> and the bunny. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, um, we started the video near the start of town and now we're reaching the end of town. It's a very small town. But um, Skegness is mostly made up of, uh, you know, the arcades, the seafront, things to do. Generally, uh, the shops here, um, again, mostly used by locals or people just wanting to get out of the way of the arcades and the kids, I guess. But uh, yeah, the end of town. Look at that. It ends where we get to Iceland. I think the train station is just down there as well. Hey, look at this. TV. Not bad, is it? It's like we're in America again, where they put the TVs on the curb every week and you just pick them up, and they always work. Wow. All right, so I think we're gonna end the town and find something else to do. Look at that building, look at that. It's a nice little British building, isn't it? And look at that phone box. It's a phone cash combo. All right, <laughs> let's go. We had a big win! Awesome! Look at that! Wow! And there's a credit left in there as well. <laughs> and now we can use the tickets to get the prizes. And lots of different prize options. Look at all those. Check it out! 500 tickets! We had a... We had a little plan. We had a little scheme. We uh, played this and it only gave us three balls. So we borrowed some from that one and put them in here. And now we won! Look at that! Wow! I, uh, I feel a little bad. But they always win in the long run because you spend about five pounds on these tickets and you get a small bag of sweets. Everyone wins. So here we are. We're gonna go to the seafront. Now the seafront, this is where the action is at. It's not the best day in the world, but it never is. But one of the landmarks of Skegness the Jolly Fisherman. Look at him. Look how jolly he is. The Jolly Fisherman of Skegness. You'll see him on any postcard, any landmark, any bit of uh, a bit of rock, bit of sweets, bit of candy. In good old Skegness. So we're going to the beach. We're going to have a look at the beach, see what it looks like. And we brought our little metal detector with us. We're going to try and find some treasure. Because under the pier, there's some nice tasty cracks. We're gonna get some gold, or maybe some copper, but probably some bottle caps. Wow. Have a look around. Look at that sunny Skegness. You can just make out the big wheel in the background. Look at that. We've got the donkeys, look, the beach donkeys. Look at this food, look. Vodka slush. Pink gin, three shots for 7.50. It's not bad, is it? Wow, this is like ice cream corner. Look at this. Look at that, Jack Daniels, Jack Daniels uh, boozy slush. Bloody hell. Copperberg slush, look at that. Wow. Which ice cream do you take? Here's the beach, Sunny Skegness Beach. Look at that. We can almost make out the ocean. Almost, almost. Wow. So 
So, something I learned in the UK when growing up here, people make do. So they get one holiday a year, usually a couple of weeks, maybe a week. And if the weather's crap, well, the weather's crap. What are you going to do? You're going to make do. You're going to keep calm and bloody carry on. And that's why we're here today. It's foggy. It's actually really nice yesterday. It was really sunny. And I thought, oh, I'll get to the beach tomorrow. It's sunny all week. And then, uh, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? But uh, yeah, Skegness Beach. It's, uh, it's not a sight for sore eyes, but it's traditional. And when something's traditional, you forget about uh, the good things, the bad things, and you bloody do it anyway. And here we are, Skegness Beach. And that's Skegness Pier right ahead. In the shadows. Look at that now. Okay, so now, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I brought my metal detector with me. It's waterproof. I'm going to try and get some treasure. We have a bit of competition. But we're going to try and get there first. So the pier here, the pier has lots of cracks in it. And we're going to try and fish under there for some money. Let me introduce you to the Pai Ai King. Definitely not from China. It's probably from Hong Kong. <laughs> Look at that. And we're underneath the pier, look. Look above us. And we're gonna try and get some treasure. See what we can find. Maybe we'll become millionaires and we never need to do any real work ever again. Okay, let's go. So we've got an advantage to our competition out there. They're less nimble, look. A couple old men. I don't think they can get in the crevices like we can. It is hurting the bloody legs. Come on, pie eye king. Where's the treasure? Look, 20p. We found our first treasure of Skegness. 20p. Yes. Look at that. And you know where that came from? Right up <laughs> there. Yes. Pai Ai King one, Taurus zero. I just came to the water and, um, yeah, I don't know about this. They're like brown bubbles. <laughs> it's, it's no wonder people go to uh, the Caribbean, South America, the Mediterranean, when uh, we have this. <laughs> I don't know about that. So, uh, not too much luck at the old beach with the Pai Ai King. We are going for about 20 minutes, uh, but I think our first find was the best, uh, the 20p. It's a new Pai Ai King record. I think our previous record was 5p, so not too bad. A lot of bottle caps, can tops, weird bits of wire. This is the only money we found at the beach. But I don't know, maybe longer you get more money, who knows? So, I'm trying to get some Pac-Man plushies. We have uh, five, five so far. These are the last two. But the, the guys in here were really nice, they swapped them around. So now this one has all the ones we need to win. So now we just need to win them. We have our big bucket of uh, two peas here. Look at that. So it's about three or four pounds worth. So now we're gonna try and win. Maybe we'll be lucky, I don't know. <laughs> ten, ten pounds later, here's the uh, here's the progress. <laughs> it's a it's a sneaky old game. It, it catches up on you pretty quickly. a couple of prizes for us. Top man. Anyway, it's getting dark. 
Our old Skegness is coming to a close, a wintry close. You bastards! <laughs> oh, we have you now. Wow, it's about, tw about 20 quid's worth, huh? <laughs> no, stop playing, stop playing. No more. <laughs> so our Skegness are his. Holiday is coming to an end. We're leaving. We're leaving Skegness. It's been an amazing day.